Hello friends, my name is Alea of Cozy Crochet Co. where I show you how to crochet the cozy way. And in today's video, we are going to be doing a deep dive into the Furls Crochet Hook. Now, I have a majority of their styles in my hand. However, the only ones that I do not have to compare today is going to be the Alpha series. But this video is going to be a comprehensive video for anybody who is on the fence on if they want to invest in the Furls Crochet Hooks or they rather pass them. Now, to be completely transparent, this video is not sponsored by Furls. However, I am an affiliate with them, so I will be putting my affiliate link down below. I do get a small commission when anybody shops through that link, which helps the channel. So if you do decide to pick up any of these hooks, you can use my link down below, but you don't have to use it if you don't want to. But before we get started with the video, if you like crochet and yarn content, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Also, like this video and comment down below, do you have any Furls crochet hook? Do you like them? Do you dislike them? And if so, which one is your favorite? Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at CozyCrochet.co where I share all of my whips and anything else that I'm working on. This channel would be nothing without your support, so if you want to support the channel, buy me a coffee. The link will be down below in the description. Also, don't forget to submit your finished crocheted projects to be shouted out at the end of the next video. You can email me a picture of what you're working on at CozyCrochet.co at gmail.com. All right, so with all that out of the way, let's get into the video. So the reason why I'm doing this video because I, anytime I bring up furls, anytime I talk about it, there's always like people who absolutely love furls or there's people who absolutely can't stand them and don't understand the obsession with them. Me personally, for a long time, I really couldn't get into like the furls fandom, I guess you could call it. I didn't really understand the hype until I got my hands on some. And when I did get my hands on some, I I become obsessed. So I started out with the Odyssey hooks. Now unfortunately the Odyssey hooks are discontinued. So the only way you can get the old Odyssey hooks are going to be in the secondhand market. And right now these are going for like one hook is like $100, which I don't know about y'all, but I'm not buying one hook for $100. You're not going to get me. <laughs> <laughs> These hooks used to retail for like 30, I believe 30 to $35. I might be wrong, but there's no way I'm going to spend that much money on one hook. Unless the hook is crocheting the project for me, which honestly, what is the point of that? Hmm. But I am not paying that much for a resale hook. And so that's why most people just try to find an alternative in the other lines that they have available. Now, a little birdie did tell me that Furls is going to be coming out with their second generation of Odyssey hooks later on in the year. I could be wrong. It may be later, but I'm going to be looking out for that information and letting you know as soon as I find out. So today we're really only going to be focusing on the three different streamline hooks that are available on their website. Now, if you didn't know, Furls is known for their streamline hooks, the way they look and all of the different types of styles that they have. They come in epoxy resin, metal, and different types of wood. I was really excited because I was able to get my hands on the metal one which I've never tried before and these are actually different from the rest of their streamline collection but I'll get more into that later on in the video so let's get into the pros and cons of ordering your hook from furls now furls is a well-known brand if you are a crochet you've heard of furls but one thing that deters people from buying and purchasing a furls hook is gonna be the price. Some people may think that these are pretty costly for what they are. For example, the wood hooks can run you from 19 to $22. The resin hooks right now are $25. I think that's right. And then the streamlined metal hooks currently are running you $26. And for one hook, some people might not be able to justify that purchase. The other thing that most people can see a uh, con in is just depending on how you hold your hook, these hooks may not be for you. I've seen a lot in my comments somebody would buy a hook just because maybe I talk about it or everybody is hyping them up and then when they finally buy one or purchase one it's not meeting their expectations. Now these are ergonomic hooks but depending on your hand strength how you hold your hook these may not be for you. So I would recommend if you are wanting to buy one of these hooks but you don't know if it's for you I recommend waiting until they have a sale and grabbing one hook and if you don't like it maybe gifted to another crocheter who loves furls or furls has a really good resale market. Now I feel like this is something that can happen with any hook that you have but a lot of people have a problem with their resin and their wood hooks depending on how thin they are. 
the tip right here breaking off or the whole hook shattering when it falls to the floor. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I have toddlers and babies and newborns in this home. So I try to keep my hooks away and displayed so no one can touch them. And so far I have not had a tragedy so far, but fingers crossed it's not gonna happen. Also, the other con that I want to um, admit probably is my fault and if you were at one of my live streams you would see me doing this <laughs> I was clinking around my other I have like a few of these uh, streamlined metal crochet hooks and as I was clinking them around they were actively getting scratched and so they're not as shiny and polished and new when I first got them so if you're somebody who is irritated by visible scratches on your hooks these may not be for you. All right, so let's get into the pros and why I love the Furls crochet hooks. So my first pro is these hooks are absolutely aesthetically pleasing. I mean, let's just get into this resin hook really quick. I just feel like Furls always comes through with the really pretty resin hooks, especially if you're somebody who likes glitter and colors. These are absolutely gorgeous pieces of art. I'm gonna show you another hook from their collection and look how pretty those sparkles are and just so much detail and mindfulness were put into these hooks as they were creating them now when it comes to the wooden crochet hooks i've tried to use other crochet hooks that were made of wood or bamboo but it just never worked out for me the yarn would always snag on the wood or it wouldn't be sanded enough or polished enough to where I'm able to continuously have a flow of crocheting especially if you're somebody like me who likes to crochet fast it throws you off if the yarn is snagging onto your actual hook so with that being said I was very hesitant to try out their wooden hooks but I absolutely fell in love. I don't know what they did. I don't know how how they sanded these to perfection, but these are so smooth. And especially if you have those um, fibers that are really slippery, like for example, the Kobu yarn from Lime Brand that's made out of bamboo, that yarn is super splitty and super silky. And it can be really hard if you're trying to crochet with something like that with a metal hook or even a acrylic or resin hook. Having a wooden hook in your arsenal is probably the best idea. And their hooks are literally pieces of art. So I have this hook, this is their Laurel hook. I do think as of right now, it is sold out. I'm, so, I'm showing you a whole bunch of sold out um, hooks. I, I apologize and then this is their other hook I forgot what this is called I think this is like their carnival hook but look how absolutely gorgeous that is like I don't know how to explain it but I would never have thought of putting two different types of hooks in one crochet hook like this and when it comes to their bigger sizes of their wooden hooks they're very much consistent with the shape of the hook now if you are one of the people like myself who missed out when they did the um, last few drops of the Odyssey hook, the Odyssey hook has been discontinued, unfortunately. But like I said earlier, I do think that they're going to be bringing them back with a different manufacturer. So a lot of people have went ahead and ordered the Streamline Metal hooks, which like I said, they are super aesthetically pleasing. They're shiny and they're just really nice. So once you get one of these hooks in your hand, you can definitely tell that these were designed with comfort in mind. So on their website, they say that the height of the hook head is carefully matched to the shaft diameter to ensure a smooth stitching and reduce fatigue. So I would definitely recommend trying one of these out at least once in your lifetime. The other good thing I like about furls is even though they're kind of on this pricier side, they are always having really good deals. Matter of fact, I got most of my crochet hooks when they did like the buy to get one free deal. And as long as you're part of their newsletter or follow them on Instagram, Instagram, which is like what I do, you will always be in the know when they have good deals coming. One of the biggest things that people talk about and why they love furls and stand behind furls is going to be their support. Furls will replace any broken item that was bought within three years. You have 90 days to return your furls hook if you decide you no longer want it. And even after those 90 days are up, you can still return it for store credit. And the thing is, is furls has other things like patterns, yarn, they also have yarn bowls, which I don't have one, and I really want to get my hands on one, maybe someday, maybe for my birthday. And their satisfaction guaranteed is unmatched. 
Now with all the pros and cons out of the way, let's take a closer look at the crochet hooks that Furls has to offer. So first up is going to be the Streamline Resin Hooks. Now these hooks are for all fibers and it is recommended for crocheters who have a looser grip or like to use a larger hook size than that's recommended for the yarn. They range from a size 4 millimeter to 15 millimeter and here's a 15 millimeter right here and occasionally they do come in jumbo sizes but you have to be on the ball for those because they sell out very quickly. These hooks have a minimal grab made with 100% epoxy resin and some of the hooks feature shimmer, glitter, or metallic flakes. This hook that I'm having right here this is the Capricorn hook and I love this hook because I love this shade of green and all the sparkles and swirls in it. It's just simply a work of art. So the next hook I'm featuring is the Streamline Wood hook. This is in the Laurel variation. This hook is best for slippery fibers or crocheters who like more control over their stitches. The sizes range from a 3.5 millimeter to a 15 millimeter, and occasionally they come in the jumbo sizes. It has a medium grab and made with 100% ethically sourced solid woods. And Furls has about five different wood species that these hooks come in. Right here is this beautifully crafted hook. I think this is one of the carousel hooks. This has been discontinued but look at the difference between the darker wood and the lighter wood and how seamless it is. In my opinion, these are some of my favorite wooden hooks on the market today. And lastly, we have the Streamline Metal Hooks. Now mine's a little bit scratched up because I'm a little bit rough with these, but they are perfect for natural fibers, crocheters who have a tight grip while crocheting, or those who prefer tighter stitches or create amigurumi. They are available in sizes 4M to 15, and they feature an ultra glide and made from a solid polished aluminum. Now, don't get the streamlined metal hooks confused with the discontinued Odyssey hooks. They are two completely different hooks. If you look at the hook heads, they are two completely different shapes. Also, I want to compare the metal streamline to the wood streamline and the metal streamline to the resin streamline hooks. And just for fun, let's also compare the Furl's Odyssey hooks to their streamline resin hooks. All right, so that's gonna be it for today's video, guys. I hope this video was helpful in informing you whether to make your choice into purchasing from Furls or not. Now, like I said at the beginning of the video, this video is not sponsored by Furls in any way. However, I am a Furls Brands Ambassador and I get a small commission whenever somebody shops from my link. I will be putting the link down in the comments below. So if you decide that you wanna buy any of these hooks, it will be available to you. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and comment down below Hello, what was your favorite hook that I showed you today? And with that being said, that's going to be it for today, guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. And as always, create something gorgeous. Bye, guys.